What's up everyone, Emery Hunt the Czar of the Playbook here. Now the New York Giants have the fourth overall pick in this year's draft. They have a lot of ways they can go with pick number four, but I'm going to make a case for Andrew Thomas, the outstanding offensive tackle out of Georgia. Let's just dive right into it, shall we, and what Andrew Thomas does in the run game. He has an explosive punch that both stymies and gains control of the defender. He plays with a great sense of urgency in that regard, trying to quickly get the defender up and out of the gap as soon as possible. And as a result, he's able to vacate space at the line of scrimmage. So it doesn't matter the type of block, reach block, down block, base block, he excels at them all. So you can definitely run weak side with Thomas as your left tackle. When you're talking about getting out on the move in the run game and in the pass game, this is another area where Thomas excels. You're talking about these reach blocks or these stretch run plays that go to the outside. He can reach those defensive ends really well and also climb to the second level and block guys at linebacker or at safety. He's athletic enough to get out there on the move. In the passing game, it opens up your passing offense to move left to right in the, in the passing game. You're talking about your boots, your waggles, your sprint out passes. Daniel Jones is an athlete, so you want guys on the perimeter talking about your tackles that are athletic that can get out there on the move and block really well. That's something that Andrew Thomas excels at perfectly. A lot of the focus for the New York Giants will be on how well Andrew Thomas does in the passing game. Well, he excels in that area also. It's what makes him a top tier tackle and in my opinion, the best tackle prospect in this year's draft class. The reason why, he has elite level quickness off the ball. He moves so effortlessly up front. The same punch that he uses so well in the run game helps him in the pass game as well. He's excellent in pass pro, having many tools in his toolbox to keep the rusher off the quarterback. He's able to mirror and match really well. He can play the piano really well and does a great job in both the recognition and recovery aspect as well as redirecting at the position. So he's both smart and athletic. He's exactly what you want at the left tackle position. And the reason why he's the best pick for the Giants at pick four is because he's a plug and play prospect, meaning he's so polished as a player that he's ready to step in right now and play without needing much seasoning or many reps. To me, because of the COVID-19 situation that we're in, the Giants need guys that can make immediate impacts or to use a draft term, guys with high floors. And when you're talking about high floors at the offensive tackle position, that's exactly what you want in this situation. Thomas is capable of handling the down to down strength and athleticism he'll see at the pro level considering he dealt with something comparable at Georgia playing in the SEC. If the Giants want to protect Daniel Jones, who's a quarterback that holds the football a little bit too long, having a tackle that can mirror and match and sustain blocks the way Thomas does makes him a player that they need at four and it makes a lot of sense.